I wanted to have you back to talk about kind of the differences and options between surgical hair replacement and what is really getting popular today, non-surgical. Sure, sure. Um, hair transplants, um, I had done personally myself and they worked great for me for four to five years. But as my pattern grew, uh, I realized that I was running out of donor area and I had to find another solution. But transplants can work great, especially on someone that has a smaller area to cover. Um, someone with a larger area, it's a little more difficult because you, you, you have a limited amount of hair to take from. Plus, you know, I've heard, and maybe it's changed, but I've heard it's a little uncomfortable. So if you've got a small area, well, that's not going to be as uncomfortable. <laughs> well, that's, and, and that's true. But, you know, it's not so much, Ron, the discomfort of it. it it's the disappointment if your expectations of what your final result is going to be is different than, than what occurs. That's the most painful part of it. It right. was for me. Anyway. Right. And if your area is still growing, yes. then you can literally outgrow your transplant. You, you can, which is what happened to me. But there's plenty. They, but, but on the other side, transplants today are done much better. Um, the, they're, they're, the surgeons are more skilled at it. They're getting much better results. Um, so. Right. But let's say you're one of those people that you've got a large area. Yes or the area is still expanding, mm -hmm. the non, or you just don't like surgery of any kind, okay. right. then there's a great non-surgical option, which is what you guys specialize which in. Which is what you're looking at with me, which is called virtual reality hair. And it's the, the latest innovation in non-surgical hair replacement. And it, it, can, it can give somebody a completely natural hairline and hair like they once had.